Over the last two years or so, there's been a very strong uptick of carjackings, car thefts, and home invasions that have been happening. It's actually been described as a crisis at the current time, with up to 30 cars a day being stolen in the Toronto area. And while it's very hard to stop it, like it's really, really hard to put your foot down on those things, especially as a homeowner, one thing that you can do to deter it or at least gain some evidence afterwards is set up some cameras around the property. And that's why the Eufy Solacam S340, made by today's sponsor Eufy, is such a clutch device to have around and add an extra layer of security to your property with a smart home element. Oh yeah, and before I get into my thoughts, I should say that I will be doing a giveaway of one of these, so stay tuned to find out how you can be entered into the giveaway. Let's get into the unboxing. Inside the box, we have the S340 itself, a removable solar panel, which I'll talk about later, camera mount and a screw pack, and also one USB-C cable that is around 10 feet or up to three meters. At my place, I pretty much use a lot of smart devices, whether it is smart plugs, an Alexa show, smart bulbs. Using the tech around you just kind of enhances the in-home experience. But what about the tech outside, the out-home experience? Okay, I'm, I'm still working on a better name, but one of the easiest ways to improve your outside of your home experience is by getting a smart camera. Quick story, my cousin who owns property, he owns an Airbnb in Jamaica, he had asked me what camera he should get to protect his property. And one of the biggest problems that we had to really look at when we're looking at a camera is making sure that he can have power and the thing is always connected. But that's why the S340 is very, very handy. It can literally be installed anywhere as it's a wire-free, camera and that's all due to the solar power element of it. The S340 has a hybrid panel allowing you to adjust exactly where the panel is placed meaning it can be installed virtually anywhere you want it to go. With that said you'd be best to place it somewhere where you can get constant sunlight in order to get the best experience. One cool thing about this is that roughly two hours of sunshine gives it all day power meaning that for most part unless you live in like Antarctica if you get a lot of sunshine or even a good amount of sunshine two hours at minimum you're able to power it for the whole entire day. This is also super handy because it just means you're not using your own power, like you don't have to plug it in, also saving you coin on that energy bill at the end of the month. Now, another cool feature of it being wireless is that it can be placed exactly where you want it to, to ensure the most security. And for the times that it does run out of energy, the 10,000 milliamp per hour built-in battery covers you for up to four months of power in reserve. Now, because of this solar panel that you can connect to it, you can kind of install it in two different ways. One way is to have the solar panel connected directly on top of the camera. And then the other way is through a USB-C cable that Eufy also provides. You could put the camera in a location and then connect the solar panel somewhere else where you could get a little bit of better light. And yeah, overall, I'd really say that the installation is pretty easy as well. You, it comes with all the parts that you need and you just pretty much drill or screw it in and you're good to go. All right, let's move on to the specs of the camera. The quality of it is really, really good. It can also capture up to 50 feet or around 15 meters, but what's really cool is the ability to use the eight times optical and digital zoom. And I can really see those license plates, especially of those people that are probably trying to steal my car in the driveway. This makes a huge difference and gives me a lot of view. The camera has a 135 degree field of view and can rotate how you want it because it has a 360 horizontal rotation feature. It also means that there are no blind spots and it can literally capture what you need when you need it. It also has built in eight gigs of memory, meaning that you can actually have your footage and your video captured on this for up to four months before it really fills up. So again, if you want to record at home, everything will be recorded in internal fully. So it's definitely a good feature, meaning that you can really capture a lot and have that footage saved for up to four months. Now, I don't really wanna bore you with all the specs because this is a smart home device after all those features. And I think all that makes this the right camera to get. Inside of the app, of course, you can do things like monitor the camera's view, but there are some other pretty neat features that really make it a smart device. First, you can pan and tilt the camera through your phone in order to get the best angle wherever you set it up. It's actually very intuitive and the camera itself moves 
very quickly to kind of adjust itself whenever you need it to. You can also set a default position with up to four presets for even more control. The camera can also go back to a default position that you choose whenever you moved it around too much, which is very handy, especially if you've been looking around your yard from inside. You can also use the record button to capture video of the area that the camera is pointed at. And then you can mute or unmute the sound to get audio of the area. And there's also a light button on the side if you want extra lighting on the area as well, especially if it's really dark at night. If you go into settings, you could turn on or off motion detection and establish the things you wanted to detect like human or vehicles and increase or decrease the sensitivity. The app also allows you to change the view mode. You can change the streaming quality, maybe the recording quality and zoom in and do all of that. And there's just so much other features that make this app and camera really, really useful. What I really like in the app is the ability to use an alarm. So if you notice something suspicious, pressing this button will scare off the culprit off your property. Now let's move on to the AI element of this camera. This camera has AI built in and compared to everything else that I said, that's pretty standard. You can expect there to be security in it, but the AI part is really, really what sets this apart from other devices. The camera can detect motion and will automatically pan and tilt to track the motion, but it will only make sure to track humans and vehicles, meaning that it won't really track a raccoon or something behind while your house is getting robbed. The AI can also zoom in when it needs to and the quality is still pretty good with the zoom as well as the pan and tilt if needed. What I really like about this camera though is that there's no monthly cost to it. So you can buy this and set it up and you're not paying like some kind of subscription fee. You really can just set it up and there's no other cost to that. So yeah, you can really save your money and protect your property all through the camera. So overall, I think that this is a pretty solid choice if you want to protect your home with also a little bit of a smart twist to it. I was away from home. I can use the app to monitor the property. I can turn off the light with my smart devices. I could change the temperature if I wanted to. Having more tech in your home is actually very forward. Anyways, like I said, I'm giving away the S340 to one of you. All you have to do is subscribe, comment down below what do you think about the camera, and also make sure to give the video a thumbs up, and I'll be announcing the winner randomly in about a month. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. Special thanks to Yuffie. I have the link in the description where you can pick up one of these. And yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.